middle of January here, fully tech mechanical. We got a full shop again. I thought we had everything gone uh, yesterday morning and three more jobs showed up. I got a Yanmar diesel uh, little sailboat engine uh, over there on the bench. We're going to put new pistons and rings in it. We got this 135 Optimax with hesitation issues we're going to dive into. Before I even get started, the customer who parked his boat in front of my shop door, uh, which is a big, big no-no, doesn't matter what kind of shop uh, you're dropping a vehicle off at, don't ever park in front of their door, not even for a second. It just throws a complete wrench into the gears of the operation. Anyways, that'll be reflected on his bill. But this has got hesitation issues, and before we even get started, before we even get started, I see a bunch of things I don't like, and these are things we have to solve before I'm even going to dive into the engine. You know, gravity is an amazing thing, but it is not intended to hold a battery down. Like that's going to do a whole lot for you, right? That battery's absolutely shot. After spending a season bouncing around in the boat, it's junk. When I put a meter across it, I get 12 volts, a little over 12 volts. As soon as I put a load on it, it drops to absolutely zero. So we've got an opening and closing plate or something basically broken inside that battery. And that's just from abuse and neglect. So you're going to see this is a pretty common theme in most of my videos. It always comes back to lousy battery connections, lousy electrical installations, lousy accessory installations. So another great example of the marina that he used to take this to installed a um, fish finder for him. And right here, this little wee wire here, this little 20 gauge wire coming off our positive battery post goes the whole length of the boat without a fuse. That's a fire potentially to happen. Even though it's a really, really small wire, probably could only handle about 15 amps before it would burn through. That's all it takes to start a fire. They should have gone into the boat's proper electrical panel, which I haven't even looked to see what it has, put in a fuse or put a fuse right at the battery. At least then, if something shorted out or rubbed through, you aren't going to start this on fire. It's, I see this everywhere. There are Supposed professional marine mechanics doing butcher work and charging $100 an hour to do it. And that's not what we do here at Fully Tech Mechanical. We do it right or we don't do it. And I'm more than happy to see a boat leave without us working on it if the customer does not want to spend the money and do the job properly.